I just saw this um, this uh, particular uh, story on Instagram. Wow! <laughs> to tell you the truth, Elon Musk is scary because uh, because because of this uh, because of this episode of Valuetainment. Um, we can we can therefore say that he's scary, right? Imagine Elon Musk starting his own smartphone company, smartphone brand, and um, and he's proverbially declaring war against Apple. Okay, the creators of the iPhone, and essentially, yeah, Google because of the Android phones. With the um, with the financial clout Elon Musk has now, because of um, because of Tesla and SpaceX, yeah, I think he can pull it off. <laughs> he can pull it off, right? He has the tech, he has the funds, and he has the people to to actually make this thing work. Start his own smartphone company. If you have that kind of uh, that kind of uh, leverage, you're scary. All right. <clears throat> if you're, um, if you're, what you call this? If you're an ordinary person like me, you would get scary. But here's what I'm driving at YouTube. You don't have to. Matter of fact, you should be happy for Elon Musk. Why? Because Bob. He has this much money, he has this much leverage to do whatever the hell he wants, actually. But he chose to. Well, if, if the rumor, if um, if this pushes through, his smartphone company may become more successful than Apple or even Samsung. Samsung na lang. All right. <clears throat> he's you at least he's using his money uh, the right way. Right. So, if there are, uh, if there's a lesson to be learned here, it's this: don't be, uh, don't resent the one who has money. Celebrate it with him. Right. So, if if this smartphone company by Elon Musk's uh, um, Musk uh, opens for business, if you got, uh, if you got the funds. Buy one. All right. Let's see. Let, let's see what it can do. Let's see what it can do for you. Okay. Let's see. What, let's see what. Yeah. Let basically let's see what it can do for you. Maybe you'll find it more useful than the iPhone. Who knows? All right. But bottom line, YouTube. Elon Musk is scary. I'm uh, almost uh, almost done with my stream here. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the chess the chess.com page to load because I wanna I wanna stream my game. Some say um, they don't have uh, they don't have the brain cells for chess. They're not that smart. They are uh, they don't have the patience for chess. Well. Guess what, Reddit? Chess is a good exercise for critical thinking. Right? Uh, I've I've only realized that uh, as of late because I've been uh, observing myself that if I get into a game of chess first, I um, I get a clearer head when when it comes to playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Right? The ability to condense all your all your plans, your intents in just one move, right? That takes a lot of critical thinking. Okay, and to be able to condense that critical thinking in just one move, that's the beauty of it. Right? Chess is a sport that has uh, that has been that has evolved over millennia. Okay, and well, I'm telling you, Reddit. I'm telling you. Chess 
is an exercise in critical thinking. If you want to raise your critical thinking game to the next level, take up chess. Right? You will get the proper exercise for it. I'm about to go to bed right now and I just um, uh, ended a stream that um, that was totally unexpected because well first part of the stream what well, here's my left mic it's already dead I only realized it only after after I've recorded the uh, the reviews but yeah i made some um, tests and yeah there it was uh, i got no more mic the only mic i have now is in is on is on the laptop but what am i driving at here ready well the death of my lab microphone is uh, proof that shit happens Right. It's just one of those unforeseen events that that come to you all of a sudden while you're off guard. <sighs> just that when your work has become easier, it suddenly begets suddenly becomes suddenly becomes really difficult. And all you gotta do is just, well, deal with it. I got no time to complain. I got no time to, uh, well, I, I did have time to uh, check out potential replacements. And bottom line is all you have to do is deal with it. There's no other way. So Reddit, here's a power tip for you. Shit happens. That's a fact. I just saw this um, YouTube video of I am Jasmine, whom I follow on Twitch. Something happened on her on her one year anniversary stream that happened well a month before I I got on Twitch. Um, she was she was sexually harassed by um by one guy in Osaka. I'm not going to show you uh, even parts of the video, all right? It's out of respect for her, okay? Because, well, you know what? I don't know why other uh, why other guys these days would, uh, would make advances like that, all right? During my time, you make, uh, you do something like that, <laughs> you're probably as good as dead. Okay? You're probably as good as dead. Especially if, um, especially if, if that woman has, uh, another guy with her. Yep. You might end up in the hospital. At least. Alright. But, um, uh, she's, she was on her own, and... All women who've been sexually who've been sexually harassed uh, tell the same thing that it's hard to think clearly uh, when it comes to situations like that. Uh, that's understandable. But if you're a guy, okay, do not make any advances, okay. Especially now, okay? we're still in a pandemic, and you come up to a girl like that that near. Okay, you're not going to practice social distancing. Hey, you you're you're up to no good. You're up to no fucking good. That's like that's like that that guy did. Just like exactly what that guy did. Okay. He was Okay, I'm not going to get into the details of how how he sexually harassed I am Jasmine, but if you want to you wanna see that video Go Google it, all right? I'm not going to give you the link, okay? I'm being a gentleman here. <clears throat> what am I driving at, LinkedIn? Well, 
there's a saying in uh, in the cost in the otaku in in the otaku community cosplay is not consent all right just what just if you're a guy just when you see um, someone dress um, dress scantily or dress in a skimpy dress or in a party dress okay now I am Jasmine wasn't dressed um, wasn't uh, uh, what you call this dressed that skimpily at all all right she she was dressed for a party and she came she came from that party all right but do you have to give yourself an excuse just to um, just to make advances like that? If you're into making advances like that, you got no balls, dude. You got no fucking balls. You either you were either born without it or you always leave it at home. Okay? Now Here's a power tip for you, LinkedIn. If you want the respect of any kind of woman, any kind of girl, you, you only have to do one thing. Be a gentleman. Always respect a woman's personal space. I just discovered this um, this post right here on Instagram, and wow, okay, it well, it's making me think twice now about uh, about Gen Z. Yeah, there there is a 16 year old now who uh, there's a 16 year old entrepreneur in England right now who's now who's uh, who's been made famous by Steve Harvey, and well. If Steve Harvey believes in him, then so should I. Okay, but fact of the matter is Instagram. That kid proved that Gen Z still has hope in well turning things around from a personal development point of view. Okay, what do I mean by this? Well, instead of if you're well if you're a uh, if you're a Gen Zer if you're his age, okay, the guy is sixteen. He's 16 years old, and he has a business now. Okay. He's trading forex, but he started out selling candy in school. He got busted, but he wasn't. Uh, he got didn't get shut down completely, right? If you could, uh, if you can search that post in Instagram, do it now so that uh, so that uh, you can see that my story is checking out. Instead of playing your League of Legends, playing your Mobile Legends. <coughs> Using your parents' hard-earned money just for trivial things like that? Why don't you invest it in a business? Learn something that will serve you long-term, like uh, what that kid did. Uh, on the side, he was learning how to trade Forex. Wow, all right? And imagine, okay, you're a grown man like me, and you still... And you're still relying on investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and you're putting, uh, and you're turning your money over to um, to to any broker you see. All right. While this kid has learned the art of forex, and he's trading himself. Don't you think it's time to do the same? He's got. He's got more time in his hands than you. Right? Now, going back to my point. Well, instead, okay, let me repeat. Instead of paying attention to mobile legends, your mobile games, your on your online games, to even your to even what your friends has to have to say, why don't you think of something that will serve you long term? Up to the point that you do not need to finish school to, to earn money. Here's a guy, 16 years old. And he's earning money. He he can afford nice suits like that. Right? Mas mo tao pa nga sa inyo eh. Right? 
Mas mukhang tao pa siya sa inyo. So here, so here's my power tip Instagram. All right? While you're young, okay? Invest long term. Let me repeat that. While you're young, invest in the long term. Uh, I'm about to go to bed again. Uh, making a diary's entry before going to bed is starting to become a habit for me. But anyway, um, people are this early, well, as, as early as uh, the start of this week, people have been talking about their New Year's resolutions. The last time I wrote mine was... <laughs> Um, 30 years ago <laughs> eventually I've uh, I've grown I've grown tired of writing New Year's resolutions and I was actually lost then I had an, I had an epiphany when I um, of course when I met my my friend and mentor uh, Pito Aguilar and he opened my eyes when it, when it, he opened my eyes actually when it comes to uh, abundance principles and uh, how not to stress yourself out I figured hmm, maybe people should not make New Year's resolutions anymore instead they should uh, focus on making goals for the new year all right here's what I'm driving at IG New Year's resolutions, well, you tend to forget them the next day. Okay? Because 99% of the time, you don't write them down. But when it comes to goals, well, in order to keep track, you should write them down. So, writing goals for the new year is more sensible than um, writing just a New Year's resolution. Or thinking of one and not writing it down here's my power tip for you Instagram and for all of my for all of my followers of course New Year's resolutions tend to be broken the next day but when it comes to goals you'll only break them at the end of the new year so Goals are more sensible than resolutions. I just saw this um this post on Instagram. Three, two, one. And I real and no not not realize how hypocritical of me. I agreed to it. This holiday season Thinking about uh, a salary upgrade is what well, should not be the question. The question should be is how to augment your current income. Even though it's the holiday season, we are still in a pandemic. Okay? The world is still crazy. Depending on just your salary should be um, a concern for you. Why? Well, Sabi nga natin work from home ka. You're, you're working from home. Okay, you got your salary. But, is it boredom, um, is it boredom contributing to, um, to the decrease in your psychic income? Alright? Boredom can decrease your psychic income. Alright? You can be bored as, you, know, you can, you are, you are productive. You're working from home. Your, your salary is not affected, but, you're getting bored as hell. What am I driving at TikTok? Right? Here's what I'm driving at. A salary over the past few um, decades, okay, it's starting to be a pain financially. If you do not find ways to supplement that, you will have no idea 
of where you're going where you're going financially all right <clears throat> there will come a time that your money will your money will face a crossroads and and this crossroads leads to only one thing poverty okay you're left with no choice because the because the end result there will be um there will be two choices there will be two forces in the road the end result will be the same you being old and poor here's a power tip for you tiktok do not rely on a salary crisis or no crisis the salary is not enough 